Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing another Valentine's Day themed look with you guys. So I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup tutorial that was inspired by Kylie Jenner. I will pop in some pictures of the look so you guys can see where I pulled my inspiration from. There were actually two looks that I really, really liked by her. So this one, I liked the kind of overall makeup and the overall face. However, I really liked this bright red lip that she had in another picture as well. If you would like to see my previous um, Valentine's Day inspired makeup and hair tutorial, I'll leave a picture right here and you can click to check that out. I'll also leave the link down below as well. And without further ado, let's get into this Kylie Jenner inspired Valentine's Day makeup look with two lip options. Two, not one. Alright my baby, so I have started and I kind of got this eye going on a little bit, so let's go ahead and catch this guy up. For a primer, I'm starting off with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the original color and I'm just going to be applying this with a Luxie Lush 110 brush all over my eyelid up to my brow bone. For my transition color today, I am going to be using Creme Boulet by Makeup Geek and a Luxie Lush 205 tapered blending brush. This is probably my favorite crease brush. It's just the perfect size. And I wanted to go with a lighter crease color um, because we are going to be using the very dark black later on and I don't want the crease to show so much just to give kind of that effortless blend color. I'm gonna take a step back for a moment and just use the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter in the shade medium right under my brow bone. I should have done this when I was doing the primer as well, but I totally forgot. I am gonna be using a couple of different palettes for this look. I was just trying to find colors that I really liked or that were similar to the picture. And I really, really fell in love with this lid color. It's from the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, and the name of the color is Cozy. I have been totally obsessed with this Sigma Warm Neutrals palette lately. I absolutely love it. I do have a coupon code which I will leave down in the description box if you guys are interested. But I'm going to be using also by Sigma a large shader E60 brush and I opted for using this brush. It's something larger, a bit fluffier. I want it to look really soft like the picture so I used a larger brush for more of a blown out soft look. Next I'm going to jump into my Lorac Pro To Go palette and I'm just going to be using the black in this palette because it's a super dark and completely matte black and I'm also using a Sigma Blending E36 brush. This brush is part of the Mini Eyes Precise Kit that Sigma has now which I'll link down below. I've been talking about it so much. I mentioned it in a recent favorites. Um, I'll link that video down below too if you want to hear kind of more about it but I've been obsessed with these Mini Eye Kit brushes. They are like life. Anyway, um, I'm just going to be placing this along my outer V, but not so much in a V shape, more of a C shape. So I don't want a very harsh kind of like V on the outside. I want it very soft and I am going to be pulling it in towards my inner corner along my crease and also just blending it out. So it's going to be pretty kind of cat eye towards the end and then tapering away towards the inner corner. I do want that concentrated black color but I want it so soft that it almost looks like a dark gray instead of like a super duper black. Once I've got the intensity that I like I'm gonna go back to the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette and pick up the color Sugar Milk and place this under my brow bone highlights. And for this I'm using a medium angled E70 brush from Sigma. I'm just gonna pop that right under my brow bone. And this is a super matte, really skin tone color for me. Then I'm just gonna go back in with the blending brush without really adding any more um, of that transition color, just whatever was on the brush, and really just blend out that outer edge of the black, and then go back in with the black, add some more intensity, and go back in with the lid color as well. So just kind of playing this back and forth game with all the different shadows until everything is blended into each other and everything is just as intense as you would like it. Alright, so let's move on to the eyebrows or the eyebrow. Um, I ran out of my favorite eyebrow crayon or my current favorite, 
um, and every time I go to Target I forget to buy a new one so I've just been using the NYX micro brow pencil I like the shape of it but the color is a little bit too brown or too light I like darker browns almost to the gray point um, so I'm just actually gonna be using the pencil to line along the bottom and just to create a little bit more of an arch um, a little bit more defined arch on my brow but not really filling in with it too much instead to fill in the brow I'm gonna be using a peak um, natural stain brow powder it comes with two colors and this one is called espresso all right baby cakes so we're gonna leave the eyes alone for a second I am gonna add in the Ardell professional mega volume lashes in the number 250 they look like this I wanted something dramatic but natural at the same time so I really like these because they're kind of like double stacked if you guys can see that so they give you a lot of volume and very nice wispy look so I'm gonna pop these on as well as take off the tape and then you know the drill we'll move on to the face for a little bit and then come back and finish the eyes at the end all right so lashes are on I'm gonna let them kind of dry and set for a little while and we're gonna work on the face I'm gonna start by grabbing the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder Pore Vanishing Stick love this so easy peasy it's already in a stick form it's great to like throw in your bag for on the go and I'm just gonna place this over the areas where I feel I have larger pores mainly my t-zone a little bit on my cheeks for this look Kylie is super highlighted and glowy so I really want to achieve that kind of glowing within look so I'm gonna start by applying a cream highlighter underneath my foundation first and this one is a cream color from MAC it's called pearl and it is a frost for foundation today I am using the it cosmetics CC plus illumination and this is a color correcting illuminating and full coverage foundation it also has anti-aging hydrating serum built in and an SPF of 50 plus which is important even in the winter when it's cold and depressing and sucky in New York City um, you still should be wearing sunscreen every single day and the easiest way to do it as is as part of your foundation and this guy is in the shade medium so I'm just gonna be applying that in the normal way with a brush and then blending everything in with a beauty blender and the brush that I like to use for my foundation is the 108 straight brush from makeup forever so for today, I didn't bring the foundation down to my neck, even though I definitely have some discoloration. I haven't fake tanned in quite a while, but I've got a little guy growing on my neck right now, and I don't want to put a lot of heavy liquid foundation on top, so instead I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Foundation, and this is a, again, full coverage anti-aging, hydrating powder foundation. So I'm going to be using this, also in the shade medium, to match my neck to the rest of my face. Next up, I'm going to add some concealer under these eyes, and today I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer in the shade medium. Again, full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. Love this guy. I'm just going to apply it with a Luxie Lush 211 concealer brush right under my eyes. Also drag it out towards my hairline just to really keep that black kind of crisp line of the shadow and to add some highlight directly under it to make it pop a little bit more. Then to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is always the messiest part of my makeup application. I feel like the white dust just gets everywhere and it's floating all around me for a while. But just go ahead and pop this under your under eyes, right on top of where you put the concealer. And I'm using a Real Techniques number 200 brush for this. While I let that sit for a minute, I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefits um, powder to bronze my face. So for my face, my forehead, my jawline, my cheekbone, um, the hollows of my cheek, I'm going to be using the Sigma Soft Angle Contoured F21 brush to contour. 
And for my nose, I love the MAC 224 brush to contour my nose. So in between my face and nose contour, I am going to go ahead and wipe off the powder with a big old fluffy brush. And this one is just a Luxie Lush 502 large powder brush. Um, but I do that before doing my nose contour just because I don't want to fluff it off after and then take away some of my contour with it. To finish up the face, I'm going to be going back to an old time favorite blush of mine, Coralista by Benefit. This used to be my go-to brush all the time. And I'm just using a Luxie Lush, Luxie Lush 502 large angled brush to apply this onto the apples of my cheeks. Um, Kylie has a very pinky peachy kind of glimmery blush in this look and I thought this color went perfect for that. And then for highlight, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It's a super strong, powerful, pow, highlight to the gods highlighter. So I thought it would be perfect for this look because she is super duper highlighted in the pictures. Alright, so let's go back to finishing up the eyes. I'm actually going to grab a Sigma Smudge E21 brush, also from their mini eyes kit. So I'll have that link down below if you guys want to see all the brushes that are included. Um, and I'm just going to go back into the matte black color and I'm just going to run that eyeshadow as close to my lash line as possible. Not really blending or buffing or anything like that, but just kind of like tapping it really close to my lash line. I didn't use any eyeliner on my upper lashes today, but I do want to give it a little bit of a darker depth of field, for lack of a better word, or more kind of depth by the lashes. It's also going to make your lashes look more full. So just as close to your upper lash line as you can, just pack in that black eyeshadow. It kind of helps to keep your chin up a little bit and place the mirror slightly under your face and kind of look down at it. Once that's done, I'm going to be going in with an eyelash curler and just curling my lashes and this is also going to help my natural lashes and the falsies to blend together a little bit more seamlessly. Then for mascara on my upper lashes, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. For my lower lash line, I'm going to start by lining my waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. This is going to give me a very bright, wide, eye open kind of look and it creates a really nice contrast on the pictures of Kylie because you have this kind of very dark, smoky look on top, but then the white in the liner just helps to brighten it all up even though it is a darker look which gives a really cool effect. Then very gently I'm going to be using the same smudging technique to add some black right along my lashes. So right on my lash line as close as possible. I'm not going to be bringing it down far at all today um, just to bring some more of the darkness back but still have the contrast with the light waterline. And then to finish off I'm going to be adding the same Makeup Forever mascara on my lower lashes. Just to finish up we are going to do the lips and the first lip combo is the one that actually went with this eye look. In order to achieve a similar color I'm actually going to be mixing two colored rain lip glosses and I love these because they dry super matte. So the first one is Mars and that is the darker one and then I'm just going to do a little bit of an ombre with sugar which is the lighter one in the middle and just blot together until they kind of mix into the perfect color. And Kylie's lips are a lot more voluminous and puffy than mine, so I am going to overline my lips just a little bit. For the lip liner, I'm using a NYX retractable lip, lip liner in Nude, and this doesn't have much color on me. It's just going to help to create the outline of my lips a little bit larger so I know where to keep the color within. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try the second lip option that I absolutely fell in love with. It's this super bright red lip, which is just gorgeous, and I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day, so I definitely wanted to incorporate it. To achieve my desired lip, I'm using the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss by L'Oreal Paris. I showed this to you guys in a haul recently, which I will link down below if you're interested, but I am just utterly obsessed with the formulation of this product and the color is pretty spot on for that brightness. <laughs> 